Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to show you transitions and more importantly, how to control the length, whether it be half a second, one second or more. So let's get into it. What you need is two clips. And remember when you're doing transitions, the length of the clip has to be long enough to cover the length of that transition. So we're going to grab two clips that are well, fairly long, a 25 second one here and a one, sec, uh, one minute one here. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you're gonna do is gonna go to the transitions menu item here, and we're gonna grab a transition. So let's just do a simple cross dissolve. And notice here it kind of defaults to one second, so when you push play, you get that one second transition. You can double click to control the length of time. Sometimes it'll let you, sometimes it won't. So let's do two seconds. We'll hit apply. But then you notice it jumps back to one second, so if that's the case and it won't let you do it, go ahead and right click on the transition itself and click the show precision editor. That's hard to say. Okay, so what we can do now is we can actually, with these bars here, you can control the, the position and the length. So you can extend it out to more than, more than two seconds or more than one second. As long as you have enough video in here to cover the transition, then you can do it. So look, I mean, we can do a 13 second transition right here because we have enough left over on the left and the right. So once you're finished with your precision editor, just go ahead and click on the transition there. And now you notice that transition is 13 seconds long. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we're starting to see that there is the first clip and the second clip cross dissolving in a 13 second time frame. Okay. And of course, if you want to get rid of it, just click on it and hit delete. And then you can, let's try another one. Let's try the mosaic. This is another one. It seems like recently it's, it's really not letting you control the time here very much. Let's see if it, oh, two seconds actually stuck. So I think depending on which transaction you use, let's try five. Sometimes it seems like it lets you, sometimes it seems like it doesn't. Okay, now it actually seems to be working, but depending on which transition you use and how much video you have, it's gonna determine if you can actually type it in and it'll stick or if it won't. So again, if you need to get more custom with it, you can right click on it, hit that show precision editor. And then now you can pretty much drag your clip left and right to get that position exactly where you want the transition to happen. And also if you click in the middle, you can control the length of it. Okay. And when you're all finished, just click anywhere or you can click on this X here, close precision editor. And now we have a 2.9 minute transition. Okay. And that's basically how you add and enter transitions. Of course, you can also do this in the beginning and you can also do this in the end by just dragging them there. Again, double click. You can control the length of it. Let's try two here, see if it'll stick. Yeah, it's sticking, so that's pretty good. And also, again, right click, show precision editor. And then you can control the length here and the position too. The length will be this icon here with a little hourglass in it, or transition icon, whatever you want to call it. And then you can kind of move the video position as well too to get exactly where you want it, which is why they call it the precision editor. Okay. And let's shorten that. Let's press a long transition in. Okay. And again, click anywhere or just click on the X to close the, the editor. Wow, that's a slow transition. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget as usual, peace and a whole bunch of aloha.